This video is going to talk about capacitor start induction run motors. Capacitor start induction run or CSIR motor is a single phase induction motor that has a start capacitor wired in series with the start winding. Start capacitor puts the current and the start winding out of phase with the current in the run winding. The electromagnetic flux of the two out of phase windings provides very high starting torque. The capacitor is usually placed on top of the motor in a metal or plastic cylinder. So underneath here, if we take a look at the wiring schematic for that, you can see the start capacitor. They usually have a current relay with it. Start and run winding. During startup, current passes through both the start winding and the run winding. At about 75% of the motor's rated speed, a centrifugal switch or a relay in series with the start winding opens. This disconnects the start winding and start capacitor. The motor continues to run as an induction motor using only the run winding. Capacitor start induction run motors are available in 120 volts to 40 volts and they can be up to 3 horsepower. Uh, commonly used in hermetic compressors for refrigeration units. This one is actually a vacuum pump motor uh, off of one of our vacuum pumps from the lab. So this could have a relay, could have a centrifugal switch. You can see that there's a lot of depth in there. How do I tell that apart from a split phase? Is simply the capacitor. If I take this off, I look inside of there, we can see that start capacitor in there. So anytime you see a motor and it's got this dome or little shark fin on the top, that is going to be a capacitor start induction run. Now if you have troubles with these, um, always check the capacitor first because they can go bad, just like any capacitor. And um, don't replace a whole motor just because an uh, inexpensive capacitor went bad. So you can find the nameplate on here. So this is a half horse, 1725 RPM, 115 volts, amp draw 7.8. So you know we're starting to get up, get up there in the uh, the amp draw. Motor is non-reversible, and it'll tell you the rotation on here: counterclockwise rotation, shaft end. So when they say counterclockwise rotation, shaft end. You look at it from the shaft end, and that's going to go counterclockwise. If it says counterclockwise lead end, you would look at it from the lead end or where the wires go in, and that would go counterclockwise looking at it that way.